Well, happy Palm Sunday to you. Faith Pocatello Daily here, the 2nd of April, 2023. We're entering into Holy Week, and so um, I hope you're inviting friends to come to church. I hope you're planning on coming to church. This week, we have Monday Thursday on Thursday at 7 p.m. We'll celebrate the Lord's uh, uh, Supper at that moment in time as we look at how Christ instituted it for us. And then also, we have our Good Friday service, which is a service of darkness, the Tenebrae service at 7 o'clock. Encourage you to, to be there. And then again, on Sunday at at uh, 10 a.m., we have our celebration of our resurrection service. Um, and we also have before that at 9 a.m., a breakfast um, that the men are putting on. And then after service, uh, for the kids, there's there's a big old Easter egg hunt. Listen, uh, 1,000 eggs. I mean, your kids are going to go away with some loot. Anyway, so Mark said so this is Palm Sunday. Let's look at the triumphal entry. Mark 11, 1 through 10. Now, when they drew near to Jerusalem, to Bethphage and Bethany at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the village in front of you, and immediately as you enter it, you will find a colt tied on which no one has ever sat. Untie it and bring it. If anyone says to you, Why are you doing this? Say, The Lord has need of it, and will send it back here immediately. And they went away and found the colt tied at a door outside in the street, and they untied him. And some of those standing there said to them, What are you doing untying the colt? And they told him what Jesus had said, and they let him, them go. And they brought the colt to Jesus, and they, they drew, threw their cloaks on him, and he sat on it. And many spread their cloaks on the road, and others spread leafy branches that they had cut off from the fields. And those who went before and those who followed were shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Blessed is the king, the coming kingdom of our father David! Hosanna in the highest! And he entered Jerusalem and went into the temple. And he looked around at everything as it had already was late. He went out to Bethany with the twelve. Now this is what we consider the triumphal entry. But what I just want to take away from this is, is a couple of things. There's triumph in God's word. Um, first of all, uh, go to untie a colt. And if they ask, say the Lord has need of it. That was enough excuse. That was enough reason. Um, also, this triumph over wildness, this cult had never been ridden before, and he sits on it, and the cult behaves. And then this triumph over the ground, you know, we see the, the palm leaves down, the cloaks down, so he wouldn't touch the ground. Now, a lot of that is symbolism to how they would have the king would return from battle victorious. And so they would praise the king. And this is different. It's a Hosanna, save us, save us. Uh, and, and again, they recognized at this moment in time that the King of Heaven was there. May we realize that Jesus is with us and usher him in as King always. So may God richly bless your day. Enjoy Jesus. Go and share life.